Section 6.6 .6, Surface Area. This section will look at the area of the surface generated when the graph of the function from point A to point B revolving about the given axis of revolution. Let's take a look at the graph of y equals f of x from point A to point B rotating about the x axis. It will form the solid of revolution and we are going to find the surface area of this solid. By looking at one segment, using the slice and sum technique, for one segment, rotate about the x-axis, it will form a band that wrapping around the object. To find the area of this band, assume it looks like a band of the paper, we open it up, it will form a rectangle. The width, which is the segment length on the graph, and the length of this rectangle is the circumference of this band, which is 2 times pi times r. And how do, you, how do we find r? The r is the radius, which is the height of the function, or the measurement from the axis of revolution to the curve. From the previous section, to find the arc length, the arc length is from the, the sum of the segment length, which is the square root of 1 plus the derivative for the case of with respect to x is 1 plus y prime squared with respect to x. So for the case that the, the graph is revolving about the x-axis, the formula will be s equals integral from a to b times 2 pi, the function height, which is the radius, times the segment length, which is the width of the band. Or the integral from a to b, 2 times pi times the fx times square root of 1 plus the derivative for f prime x squared with respect to x. For the case that the graph is revolving about the y-axis, the formula will be s equals from point c to point d, 2 times pi. This time, the function will be the function in y times the square root of 1 plus the derivative, which is the function in y squared with respect to y. For y between point c to point d. Let's look at the first example. Find the area of the surface generated by the graph y equals 8 times square root x from x equals 9 to x equals 20. As you recall, this is a radical function. We can sketch the graph by hand and look at the graph from x equals 9 to x equals 20. Rotate this graph about the x-axis. It will form a solid of revolution. The surface area, which is s equals the integral from 9 to 20, 2 times pi times the radius, which is the height of the graph, or 8 square root x times square root of 1 plus the y prime squared with respect to x. So we're going to need y prime and y prime squared. On the side here, since y equals 8 times square root x, or 8 times x to the power 1 half, so y prime is 8 times 1 half x to the negative 1 over, 1 over 2, or negative 1 half, and simplify to be 
4 divided by square root x. So u y prime squared will be 16 divided by x. And back to the formula. So s equals integral from 9 to 20, 8 pi and 2, they are constant and bring it outside of the integral to be 16 pi. In the, uh, inside of the integral is square root x and square root one plus the y prime squared is 16 over x. With respect to x, next we're gonna simplify the integrand, adjust it into the simplified form and ready for us to find the antiderivative. 1 plus 16 over x is the same as x plus 16 divided by x. Use the algebraic property. We write it as the square root of the numerate, numerable divided by square root of denominator. As you see, square root x and square root x will be canceled. Now we have 16 pi integral from 9 to 20 of the integrand square root of x plus 16 with respect to x. Then we're going to use the u sub technique by letting u be x plus 16. So differential u is 1 times differential x or dx as x equals 9, u equals 25, as x equals 20, u will be 36. Then we get 16 pi integral from 25 to 36 of square root u with respect to u. Square root u or u to the power 1 half. Use the antiderivative. We will obtain u to the power 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 or the same as multiply by the reciprocal or multiply by 2 over 3. Evaluate from the low u or 25 to the high u which is 36. Replace u with the upper limit 2 over 3 36 to the power 3 over 2 minus 2 over 3, 25 to the power 3 over 2. I'm going to pull out 2 over 3 from the bracket. Multiply by 16 pi, we should get 32 pi over 3. And in the bracket, 36 to the power 3 over 2, which is the same as square root of 36, which is 6 to the power 3. Similar case, 25 to the power 3 halves is the same as square root 25, which is 5 raised to the power 3. After we clean up the number, we should get the solution as 29 12 pi over 3.